Hi everybody, it is December 8, 2017. I received yet another comment from someone, a subscriber, who told me that they lost their channel. And just in the past couple of days, I have received from subscribers who are telling me that they have either lost their channel or they have been punished by YouTube. Look, this is not going to get any better. Google, YouTube, not private companies, government. These are government platforms created by CIA, NSA, intelligence agencies. So, you know, for those who leave comments, well, it's a private company. They have the right to do whatever they want to do. They're not getting it. They are not getting it. But I just want to inform you that truth content they want to get rid of. They want to get rid of. So when you see headlines like this that have just recently been posted, Google to appoint staff of 10,000 to weed out extremist content on YouTube. First of all, I don't believe it. I do believe that these algorithms and I also believe that our artificial intelligence is not coming. It's here and it's working already on the web and these algorithms the artificial intelligence it is picking up uh, the keywords and taking down channels I think that they are announcing this publicly because they want people to believe that humans are still operating here now there are some humans who are operating here I, I don't, um, I'm not saying that the whole thing is uh, just non-human, but uh, why would Google, why would YouTube outlay the money to hire 10,000 people to take down extremist content when they already have their algorithms doing it? So, okay, listen to this. You got Theresa May who recently came out and stated that she put heavy pressure on social media companies to remove radical content after a series of deadly terror-related attacks this year in the United Kingdom. The tech companies have made significant progress on this issue, but we need to go further and faster to reduce the time it takes to reduce terrorist content online. Yes, people see terrorist content and they go out and commit terrorist acts. That's right. Okay, it's not right. Google, YouTube, government. Terrorist attacks, false flags, government. Problem, reaction, solution. Governments cause the terrorist attacks. Then they wait for the reaction, which is fear coming from their uh, respective citizens. And then their leaders come out and say, we've got to do something about this, this terrorism. And, well, social media putting out this extremist content, we have to remove it so we don't have any more terrorist attacks. Really? And people are not seeing the abject idiocy, absurdity of what these leaders are saying. So, Theresa May says, I came out and asked Google to even remove extremist content faster, within two hours. Google, Facebook, Microsoft, hey, we've got to remove that content faster. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. And this was during a United Nations summit when she approached the CEOs of Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Um, guys, you know what this is all about. You know what this is about. When YouTube can remove a channel like Kafka Winston World, when they can remove so many channels that are not offensive, not radical, not extremist, but they the, the content goes against the official narrative, and they're terminating those channels and YouTube Kids 
is putting out content that is so violent and so sexual and so vile that even I had a hard time watching the videos, but they are targeting kids with those videos and those videos remain up. Well, you know, yeah, these are absolutely Satanists and that is their agenda. How do you get through to our respecto, uh, respective fellow countrymen and women? You use the word satanic and they shut down. You tell them that Google, YouTube is not a private corporation. All they have to do is do the research and they would find out, but they won't and they call you crazy. You tell them that they are absolutely destroying content that goes against the official narrative. And you get blank stares, they don't care. Truth, freedom of speech is being destroyed and then they call you paranoid or bipolar or you're something. Mm, you're just mentally ill. This is very dangerous. It's a very, very dangerous world if they are actually hiring 10,000 staffers. Do you think that they're going to be hiring anybody that is not some liberal progressive that goes along with Google YouTube's agenda? Of course not. And these hires, do you think that they will even care? Care that the content that is viewed by them, that it's simply a different opinion than theirs, a different view that they have, perhaps a conservative view. Do you think that they will care? No. I think that they will get offended by content that goes against what they think, their opinion, their view, their ideology. And they will remove that content. It will have nothing to do with principle. It will have nothing to do with YouTube's guidelines, their terms of service, because within the terms of service, there are those uh, clauses that it's clear that while they may state some guidelines, they also state that we have, that they can take down any video for any reason or no reason. So I am sorry that all of you are having to deal with your channels being taken down or being punished by YouTube. Look, they took down my channel based on a community guideline strike, but wouldn't even tell me what the community guideline was. So how do you appeal that? I had to appeal it, and boy, their judgment came very, very quickly. They ruled that I lost. I would not get my channel back. It was not offensive. It was not radical. It was not extremist. It did not violate any guideline. I've been on YouTube for six years. Never did I get a community guideline strike until just a couple of months ago. And then boom, boom, boom. I get three and I'm out. So. There is, there really is no way to fight this. Not when we have a majority of our respective fellow countrymen and women who really don't care about anything that is taking place in the world. And clearly are not principled people Freedom of speech? Who cares? Get rid of it. Truth? Who cares? Most people, I think, just think of truth as, well, it's uh, subjective. It's something that, you know, the truth to you maybe 
not the truth to somebody else. You know, the moral relativism, the truth relativism. And they couldn't be more misguided in their thinking. I don't believe that they're hiring 10,000. They're just telling the public that. Algorithms, artificial intelligence is in control. But once again, I'm going to say Google YouTube is government. When you have these government leaders coming out, making these announcements that these, these companies, they need to uh, get rid of extremist content, they all are on the same team.